was traveling right there on 80, and I was headed out towards uh, State College to watch a football game, and I saw the tree, and I worked my way back about a half hour, got back to the tree, and I knew right away it was pretty awesome. Yeah, that's uh, Norway spruce is a good tree. It's nice and strong and, you know, does what we need it to do. Well, the height, the width, the weight is, you know, 13, 14 tons this year. There's a lot of heavy wood in this tree. It's, uh, it's going to look great in front of 30 Rock. You had a picture in front of there, you know? I am a big Christmas elf. My whole family are Christmas elves. We start listening to Christmas music in August or September. So for me, this is just literally beyond my wildest dreams. It never would have occurred to me that I could have this opportunity. So the ability to um, donate the, one of the most famous trees in the world is beyond exciting for me. Ultimately, yes, um, it will go to build homes for Habitat for Humanity in Pennsylvania. And that's a huge driving factor for me mm -hmm. to know that um, this tree's ultimate purpose is so much greater than um, six weeks in New York City. It's, it's going to be someone's home for life. And that's really important to me. It's great to be able to share it with everybody and uh, to be able to uh, see it lit up at Rockefeller Center because mm -hmm. that's a large tree to decorate. So we've <laughs> never actually done it. So uh, <laughs> it's going to be great to see. Much to his surprise, it's the probably the only thing that hasn't been decorated by me for Christmas. <laughs> Guys, I'm touching a tree this year. Rachel, that's what I'm talking about.